Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu, and today we're bringing you something special, Highline of High Caliber, the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette in the E-Ray, and we are going to be talking about the electrified Corvette in this video in one of three new colors, the cacti green brought to the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette lineup and also optioned add-on like the carbon fiber package, and we're going to be bringing that to you guys from exterior, interior, and specs in this video but before we even do that we'd like to give a shout out and a thanks to roseville chevrolet at the roseville auto mall in roseville california for providing us this beautiful car for this walk around in-depth review and also we'd like to drop in someone special here in this video just in case if you guys have any questions or concerns here he goes his name is michael Hi everybody, Michael down at Roseville Chevrolet. If you guys are interested in a brand new E-Ray or any other Corvette or new Chevrolet for that matter, I'm your guy. You can find my name, my number, and my email here on the page, and I'm happy to help anytime. Thank you. All right, Michael, thank you so much for your input. And guys, if you guys do have any comments, questions, concerns, Michael is your guy to give him a call, email him, and he will help and do his best to get to your guys' needs. But let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the exterior, interior, and specs on this exact beautiful E-Ray. So let's dive in and talk specs on this mid-engine Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray. Now, remember everybody, this is the first hybrid. Some Vagabond advice at Vagabond Builds. I would say that this is probably the sneak peek of us seeing the gas-powered engines going away coming over to the hybrid and then from the hybrid to the EV, unfortunately, because I am a gas head, all right? But this is pretty much what I believe to be the sneak peek. Some specs and some numbers on this exact engine. You have the Stingray Corvette C8 powertrain with the Z06 body on the Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray hybrid, okay? You get the 6.2 liter V8 with the eight speed dual clutch transmission, standalone pushing 490 horsepower with 475 pounds feet of torque. But let's say you wanna know about that battery that's on board and also that electric motor that powers those front wheels. It comes in and brings an extra 160 horsepower with 125 pounds feet of torque. That literally makes it a whopping 655 horsepower with 595 pounds feet of torque. I'm a I almost lost that number there, which gives you a whopping crazy zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds and a track time quarter mile of 10.5 seconds. This thing is insane. Keeping up with exotics, everybody, what do you think? Would you rather get the reliability of the Chevrolet Corvette or the high maintenance costs for the Ferrari or the Lamborghinis? Now, some um, MPG numbers for the people who'd like to know, 16 city, 24 highway, and 19 combined with an 18.5 gallon gas tank size. If we kind of pull away from the car a little bit, let's talk some dimensions, 185 inches in length, 80 inches in width with 49 inches in height and a 107.2 inch wheelbase, everybody. Now, as we're going to start going around the car, I'm gonna to mention to you guys some options that this exact car in this video comes with and that you can add also onto your E-Ray. And then I'm also going to mention some standard things and so forth. But starting with the front end, everybody. Now this is one of three paint colors that uh, Chevy adds to their lineup. This is called the Cacti Green Exterior Paint Color. And you literally have 14 exterior paint colors to choose from and 21 different interior trims to choose from as also that I know that is an insane crazy number to get for that interior but you can literally option and make it the exact way you like it starting with the headlights LED front headlights daytime running lights beautiful with the black housing giving it that sporty aggressive look dropping down now what sets the E-Ray apart from the Z06 I might ask you might ask see this trim here okay this actually comes the same color paint as the exterior body of the car to where the Z06, you'll see this either black, carbon fiber, and so forth. Dropping down, we have those active air vents there for those radiators and the cooling system. And then see this carbon fiber lip down here? This is actually an add-on option. Okay, so this is, I believe, a $4,000 add-on option with the ground carbon fiber uh, exterior elements. That is something that if you have the pockets for, I will have to mention, it makes the car look so much more clean, swift, agile. Up top, 
again, we have that Z06 fascia with those cameras integrated into that front bumper fascia itself. Now, something I like to mention as well is that you can actually pop this frunk from your key fob and you press twice and it pops the frunk just like that. And you actually have the Stingray C8 frunk space, which is very convenient because you fit a lot in here. All right. You also have the, God forbid, somebody gets stuck in there. You have a 12 volt outlet and an emergency button to pop this latch. And another cool feature that I'm going to mention is it's a soft closing front. Moving over to the side. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this car in this video. Why? Because if we come over to the wheel area, we have the add on option of the carbon fiber rims. Okay. So you're running different rim sizes in the front compared to the back. And you're also an, uh, another option is a higher sport tire with the Michelin pilot sport four S's and the size on this tire is a 275, 30, 20, and you're getting 21s in the back. But look how beautiful coming in with the front carbon fiber trim over to the rims. And I'm going to show you guys the rocker panel carbon fiber trim. Just a beautiful, aggressive look. Yes, it's going to cost just a tad bit more, guys. But literally, this is what sets you apart from all the other E-rays. Side mirrors. They come blind spot assist heated integrated blinker lighting and automatic foldable so when you're actually locking your car these will um, fold in place so nobody's kind of dinging your side mirrors maybe you're in a parking lot god forbid you just want to watch out for that also you have the option of getting a coupe meaning a hard top or you have the option of making it a roadster or a convertible let's just say all right so you got those two options as well another thing that you're going to see on the e-ray as well is this trim here this will come the same color as the exterior paint of the car. That's what sets it apart from the Z06. Z06, you'll see the black or the carbon fiber so forth. But here on the E-Ray, it comes with the same color of the car. Dropping down another badge dropped on the lower part of the quarter panel. E-Ray letting you know that it's the E-Ray what sets it apart from the Z06. So not that we get not only that we get the trims that sets it apart from the Z06, also these badging. Coming over to the rear, as you can tell, it is a bigger rim, carbon fiber, phenomenal look. You also get the carbon ceramics standard brakes, okay? I want you to uh, keep an eye out for that because that is another thing that is phenomenal on these cars. I'm in love with them. The guy behind the camera doesn't really care for them, but I love them. And it literally has a Corvette and it says carbon ceramic on the caliber itself. So you guys see that. We left that hood open we talked specs from the beginning of the video, but we're going to have to close that pretty soon as we're going to show you the trunk. The tail lights do come in the LED, same paint on these grills back here. You have the C8 Stingray exhaust tips with the two exhaust tips on each side. And this is also another option as you actually black out those exhaust tips. Better look also kind of matching that um, blacked out kind of carbon fiber look. And then we have that rear diffuser. Another thing that sets it apart from the Z06 is you do not have the center exhaust, okay? Popping up, we get that camera right over the license plate and an electric or button to pop open that trunk, but we're not gonna open that because we don't want that to hit that engine cover. But let's go ahead and shut that engine cover, show you guys some cargo area, and then jump into the interior real quick. So now that we dropped the hood cover, we're going to show you guys real quick the cargo area. We're using that button there, it pops open, and here goes your cargo area here on the E-Ray Corvette. Straight to the point, simple. We do know that, seeing that from prior models. And this is also a soft close. You click, and you can see it's soft close. Now, as we come over to the side of the car, actually, let me come over there. This actually does take the wide body from the Z06, which makes it about 3.6 inches bigger than the standard C8 Corvette. And you can see with those beautiful air vents for that cooling system and get a load of us opening the car here with the E-Ray badging for those door sills. That's one of the places you're going to see on the interior side of that. Loving how that carbon fiber trim does pop out with that kind of wide body tub feel. But let me go ahead and shoot over to the driver's side get in the car and let's talk interior now. So right off the bat, a lot of people like to ask me what color interior or what color exterior it was. This is called the Artemis 
interior color. And I have to say that I really am a fan of this interior color. But get a load of the Corvette sporty seats with the carbon fiber integration. You have the Corvette emblem here. You're gonna also have that same emblem on the speaker cover here as well as it saying Corvette and E-Ray right under that. As well as if we come down that center console, we're gonna get that Corvette emblem on that mode palm rest there, as well as E-Ray on the flat bottom steering with the carbon fiber. Just phenomenal look all around everybody. Now, come over to the door panel. I'm gonna show you guys. That door panel has a lot going on. We got the premium Bose performance series sound system with that black cover, the memory seating, control units to your windows and your side mirrors, unlock lock. This is the button to open that electric door and for your front and your trunk buttons as well as some more cargo space there as well. On the left-hand side of the electric steering column, we have a few buttons going on, heads-up display, info button, and the lighting dimmable button. As long as some things going down, your parking brake button, again, shooting over to the steering wheel. One of my favorite parts of this interior is the flat top, flat bottom steering with the E-Ray, and it is a carbon fiber steering with the carbon fiber paddles for that dual clutch eight speed transmission, everybody. Now, on the left-hand side, you got the cruise control, the crash warning system, so you're still getting your tech. On the right-hand side, heated steering wheel in this as well as you can control your media lower than that and go through your info cards and so forth. Now we're not gonna turn on the car because we're indoor right now and we wish we could, but we couldn't take the car out, but it would have been a lovely option to do so. Further in front of that, we have windshield wipers controls and then your lighting and signal light controls there. We left that up. That's the way you're going actually to drop it into normal shuttle or stealth mode. Now, what stealth mode is, is you get about three to four miles of just pure electric where the only thing that kicks in to drive this car up to about 45 miles an hour, you get that stealth mode and it is completely hybrid. That front motor does kick in and uh, carry those front wheels up to about 45 miles and three to four miles long. Other than that, no more. Now, let's go ahead and turn, if we could go ahead and turn it on. I wanted to show you guys the um, E-Ray app itself, but I think our battery is actually dying right now. But you have an infotainment system and you get the E-Ray app. Um, and it shows kind of what you're doing, like your dyno and your specs with regards to electric motor, the manual motor and so forth. Too bad I can't show you guys that because we're inside as well. Our toggle switch, parking, reverse, neutral and drive. You got your manual M for your manual system if you would actually drive those paddle shifters like a manual. Traction control, you have the pop up option of um, popping up that front of the car. So when you're going over speed bumps, you press that button and it actually lifts and you actually have an add-on option where it actually drops it into the memory of the car itself, right? Front cameras, we do know the switches from the prior C8 Cor Corvettes. We got the heated and ventilated seats with your temperature controls and a dual climate control, defrosters and so forth. Popping this open, cup holders, nice and big, cover that. Key fob. This is what your key fob is going to look like in the E-Ray. Now, lets you know how to open it. So forth, you can actually drop this uh, drop top with this button, but you can't pick it back up. All right. And right over that key fob, key fob we have some things going on here. OnStar SOS hazards up here with your frameless rear view mirror. Way to open up this center console is the button here. It opens up just for the driver, USB-C, USB-A plug-in with a wireless charging pad right behind that as well, everybody. On the seats themselves, they are electric controlled. In front of that passenger, we're gonna pop open that glove compartment and that's what the glove compartment looks like. And the beautiful suede accent coming together with the Artemis color uh, leather. We got the same color in the suede and also the leather. Just phenomenal look all around. We got that Corvette sign on those weather mats there. So you're protecting that beautiful carpet inside this E-Ray Corvette, everybody. Now, what do you guys think? This car is literally coming in at around 148K. Now, again, they are gonna be cheaper if you don't have the add-on options like the carbon fiber rims, the carbon fiber trims, the memory for that front lifting system, and so forth. Is it worth it, everybody? You let me know in the comment section below. I like our viewers to actually drop comments. Tell me what they think with $148,000 on this E-Ray Corvette. Or would you rather get into more of the exotic feel like a Porsche or 
Ferrari or a Lamborghini or so forth, let me know. But I have to mention, you're getting the reliability of the Chevy Corvette that you don't have in, again, the exotics. Finishing off with some little things like the heads-up display. I mentioned that on the side uh, where you have the button to control that heads-up display so you don't have to look down at your um, miles per hour gauge. You actually have it right in front of you because when you're driving this thing fast, you're at 16 2.5 seconds, you don't want to look anywhere else but in front of you, okay? Now, guys, we're pretty much done with this walk-around review. Let us know what you think, how we did. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, check out our channel. Thank you so much for watching Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. God bless you.